What's up YouTube? Welcome to the Clutch Praise God channel, man. My name is Clutch, or you can call me Rodney. Where in this video, we are coming to please our spirit and not our body. Stay tuned. Put God first. Greetings, my brothers and sisters. Welcome back to the channel. I thank you guys for being here today. We're going to continue on with the series, Ecclesiastes 3. Um, should be a good one. This one has three passages, and we're going to dive into these. And after each passage, I'm going to stop, and we're going to talk about it together. So without further ado, let me say a quick prayer on behalf of everyone, and let's get into the video. Dear Lord, I ask that you please bless the viewers of this video. Allow us to get into your word for wisdom knowledge insights anything you want to give us any downloads you want to give us and allow us to see your word for what it is and understand your word i thank you for allowing me to um read the word with the viewers of these viewers of the video and allow us to come together as children of christ in this time i ask that you please bless the viewers of the video Whatever they're going through, comfort them, Lord, and be with them if they're going through anything, any hard times, Lord. I pray all these things in Jesus' name, for his sake, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, you guys, let's jump right into it. Oh, well, yes, Ecclesiastes 3. This is uh, going to continue on with the Ecclesiastes series. And this is going to be good. It's going to be, you know very eye-opening to you folks and um yeah let's just jump right into it so ecclesiastes 3 everything has its time to everything there is a season a time for every purpose under heaven a time to be born and a time to die a time to plant and a time to pluck what is planted a time to kill and a time to heal a time to break down and a time to build up a time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to gain and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. You see that there's a time on this earth for everything um you know everything under heaven will go through different seasons everyone under everyone on earth goes through different seasons of their life go through ha bad times go through good times go through happy times go through sad times you know there's a time for everything and uh for every season we all gonna go through different trials and tribulations it's just a part of life and it says it right here in the word of god so um you know we just have to be mindful of that because it's just the way life is and um as you see like in the very first verse you know to everything there is a season time for every purpose under heaven so we know there's going to be a lot of different seasons of our lives and a lot of different things we're going to go through as children of God. So let's just continue on to the second passage. And this is, um, yeah, we're just going to continue on with the second passage. Here we go. The God given task. What profit has the worker from that in which he labors? I have seen the God-given task in which the sons of men are to be occupied. He has made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has put eternity in their hearts, except that no one can find out the work that God does from beginning to end. I know that nothing is better for them than to rejoice and do good in their lives. And also, every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of God. I know that whatever God does, it shall be forever. Nothing can be added to it and nothing taken from it. God does it that men should fear before him. The which is, has already been and what is to be has already been. And God requires an account of what is 
past. So, it's kind of a, a, a little bit to take in, you know, with that passage. Um, so, pretty much what I get from this passage is what profit is the worker going to, is what, what profit do we gain of, on this earth, you know? And, and it's saying we are to be occupied and laboring in our work and and just continue to work hard. So we continue to do good and work and do the God-given task that God calls us to do because that is what that is how we will enjoy the fruits of the labor our labor and continue to work the land that, and do the things that God calls us to do on this earth. And um, it's a gift of God when we we acknowledge that what we're doing in our lives for for the good, whether whether it be serving people or doing whatever job you do that that is a great job, you know that is not that is given by God and not the enemy because some jobs are given by the enemy and we all know what those are um and we should just continue to do what what we're doing and doing the good that we're doing because no one knows no one knows what God's plan is and what God has created as far as seasons of our lives is a beautiful thing, you know, and everything that happens in our lives can be credited to God. All the blessings that come, all the trials that come that teach us something, tribulations that come that teach us and make us better people can be attributed and credited back to God. Um... <laughs> And therefore, you know, we can rejoice in all seasons because we know that we're in God's hands and we, uh, God has his favor on us as long as we're, you know, repentive and trying our best to be good children of God. Even though we slip up, God still loves us and God still cares for us because we, we could still slip up, but as long as we get back on the right path and try to do better. Um, we'll be okay. And so let's get into the last passage of Ecclesiastes 3. And it states that, going from verse 16, Injustice seems to prevail. Moreover, I saw under the sun in the place of judgment, wickedness was there in, in the place of righteousness. Inequality, oh, sorry, iniquity was there. I said in my heart, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a t for there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. I said in my heart concerning the condition of the sons of men, God tests them that they may see that they themselves are like animals. For what happens to the sons of men also happens to animals. One thing befalls them, as one dies, so dies another. Surely they all have one breath. Man has no advantage over animals, for all is vanity. All go to one place. All are from the dust, and all return to dust. Who knows the spirit of the sons of men, which go upward, and the spirits, and the spirit of the animal, which goes down to the earth? So I perceive that nothing is better than that a man should rejoice in his own works, for that is his heritage. For who can bring him to see what will happen after him? So in this passage, you know, um, it's pretty much explaining what's going on today. There's a lot of wickedness, judgment, you know, going on in the world right now. And, and God is going to judge the people that are wicked and God is going to judge the people that are righteous. Um, and we will all live and we will die. We all return to dust. But... The real question is, are you going to go into heaven or are you going to go to hell? What things have you done that you need to repent of? What things, what sins do you need to turn away from? What things do you need to let go so that you can make it into the kingdom of heaven? 
is some questions that you can ask yourself. And um, what what is also being said here is that all is vanity, all the materialist striving for this materialistic gain, um, seeking earthly possessions and things like that is all vanity because, I mean, you can't take it with you to heaven. So it's just going to be here on the earth and your possessions will probably be, will, will most likely be someone else's possessions after you die. So, you know, all is vanity. And um, so and in very in the last verse of Ecclesiastes three is is something that you can just like meditate on and think about because it says for who can bring him to see what will happen after him once you die you don't know what's gonna happen after you you don't know what's what's going to be going on on earth unless there's a way you can see from heaven if you go to heaven maybe there is well, we, we don't know but it's not like you have any control of what goes on on earth once you're in heaven well, god has all the control you know so once you leave this earth you ain't, ain't no telling what you're gonna what's gonna happen you know you're not gonna really be able to see and you're not gonna be able to you know bring the things into heaven that you've gained on earth so ecclesiastes 3 is such a good passage beautiful such a beautiful um chapter in the bible we we went over some good good things in this chapter and i hope you guys got some edification from it or you know enjoyed reading it with me and going over it with me um so be on the lookout for the next video we're gonna be doing ecclesiastes 4 i may switch it up after that do something else and then return to the ecclesiastes series but um, if you enjoyed this video, if you would be so kind to leave a like, I really appreciate that. And um, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Leave a like. Um, and yeah, man. Um, it's your boy Rodney, our clutch, our RJ. You know, coming at, coming at you with another video. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And um, God bless you guys. And stay diligent in your journey with Christ. See y'all later. Deuces.